The Cash for Clunkers program has been widely popular, but not without some bumps in the road. New car sales for some have spiked, but dealers have struggled to get their reimbursements from the feds, and that's not the only problem. Mark Leland has more in this Fox 11 follow-up. Instead of ending up here, salvage for scrap, traded in gas guzzlers are being stockpiled at local dealers. Dorsford Kia in Green Bay has taken in 110 clunkers under the federal program in the past three weeks, discounting new cars on average $4,000 each for the trade-ins. So July was a great month, and August is going to be even better. The dealer, though, is now waiting for government reimbursements for the some $440,000 it has fronted buyers. Money Pete Dorse says should have started flowing in last week. At this point, you've received nothing from the government? Uh, we've only been approved on three cars so far, and it haven't been paid on any. Salvage yards have only seen clunkers start to trickle in. Smitty's Salvage in Green Bay is working with six new car dealers, and owner Bernie Smits is expecting a lot. And we could probably be talking 150, 200 plus cars. Smiths will have six months to remove parts for sale before the rest of the vehicle, including its disabled engine, will be crushed under program guidelines. Like the car dealers, he's expecting good business. I'd say it's definitely going to be a, a profitable deal for us. Profitable because with fewer clunkers out there, prices for parts and even used cars are going up for consumers. It's definitely going to drive the cost of the used car up. That industry is starting to climb. It started to climb just as soon as they started the cash for clunkers. Yeah. Over at Dorsch, the new car inventory on qualifying fuel-efficient Ford cars for clunker trade-ins is running thin. Some dealers have had to turn clients away, the result of production delays and cuts earlier this year. Many GM and Chrysler dealers are also facing shortages of new cars. Production of GM vehicles was halted for about three months when it went through bankruptcy proceedings. And getting the new cars on the lots now has been slow going. Many American-made cars are on back order, with dealers hoping production rolls fast enough before the Cash for Clunkers program runs out. In Green Bay, Mark Leland, Fox 11 News. Dorsch says import makers have kept production rolling, and he is expecting a delivery of more than 100 new Kia cars in the next week to keep its lot full. Ford cars are on order. And you now have more choices when it comes to Cash for Clunkers. Those who want to purchase a new car that hasn't hit the lot are now eligible for a rebate. Before the change, buyers could only choose from those already in stock. Ford, Honda, and Toyota have had to increase production on some popular models to meet the demand. Now dealers can reserve a vehicle for you by submitting a vehicle identification number to the government. Through early yesterday, nearly half of the $3 billion in the program had been spent and 339,000 cars had been sold.